what's up. If you're the guy that fixes these things, when you hear them going across the cart path or transporting from one place to another and you hear those front rollers banging, you cringe because you know you're going to be the one doing the work. Now these Toros are really great machines, but I found a couple places that they, they could use a little bit of improvement. And up in front, they got this roller. And this roller is out front of the main roller. And this is the one that's banging up and down, you know, the tires flex and things like that. And what happens is when the reel gets lifted by this hook right here, which lifts from this U, it'll lift the reel up. And then the reel has these this plate here that'll come up and hit these bumpers. And it'll pick up the front roller frame. Now a couple problems are this flexes and over time you get those cracks okay and then I, at first I didn't know why we got these cracks and I welded them up but really you can see why it's just from the flex of lifting over and over and over so I found a couple ways to improve that one is to put a bolt through here into here so it can't drop anymore and then the second is to put another bumper on top of the reel between the two so it'll pick itself up higher. Let me show you one I've already done. Now this machine is brand new so it hasn't got those cracks yet so it lifts higher in the first place but over time it'll get those cracks but you can see these discs I put in here okay and that one's mounted to the reel and all it is is a plastic cutting board I cut up with a bolt hole in the middle, bolt it right down through the top of the reel cover with a shallow bolt so it doesn't come down and interfere with anything. Now this one I have not put the side bolt in yet because it doesn't flex that much, not cracked. But I'm going to do it anyway as preventative. But let me show you how I made these discs real quick and uh, what we're going to do to the other to the reels to stiffen them up on the plate here and uh, you can see we'll start this up when the reel gets lifted I'm just going to start by making a quarter inch hole. That'll make it easier for this kind of bit to give me my recess. So that about does it. Drill press set to a slow speed. I'm just gently going to go through until it breaks through. This cutting board is approximately a half inch thick. Pop it out of here. Here's one of the common things that happen from the front roller getting banged into something hard. It stuffs the tension rod and it kinks it and then everything's off. So that'll actually make the reel on an angle 
while you're cutting. So it's it shows how it's a good idea to get as much lift as you can out of these when it's being transported. I picked a nice spot on the front reel to put my side bolts in to support the reel cover. And this Toro mower ha actually has a little bit of a circle. You could probably see where I started to drill. There's a little bit of an outline there. It's a perfect place to drill. So we're going to drill it through. Obviously this can be done on a bench. So now it's holding the drill as straight as possible. I'm going to drill into the reel cover after I locate it. Now I'm going to resize it to 5 16 So I'm using 5 16 carriage bolts because I want to take advantage of this square head. It's threaded all the way up. That way I could put it through, run a nut up, tighten it up so it's, it's movement free against this. So this side will be here and the nut will be on the other side and that'll hold this steady so when it can't move. It'll, it'll stop this from pushing down. So what we got to do is get our nuts in there and then tighten it up and do one more. Okay, now you can see two things. Number one, I got the bolt in. And number two, my operator didn't do a very good job cleaning this reel. But there we go, we have both bolts in, top and bottom. And let's take a look at how it worked. So we're going to find our approximate position we want it in. Over to this edge and to this edge in the front. Take one I haven't got a bolt in yet and just mark a little. There we go. Mark a little spot for you to drill. Okay, and then drill a hole. Now the nuts I'm using 
have nylon in them to keep them from falling off. I don't want a nut falling off on the greens and then ending up in this reel. Definitely not. So we'll tighten this up. We're going to tighten these babies up and put it back on the machine and see what we got. Okay, the reel on the left front as you're seated looking out is the one with the bumpers on it and the bolts. So let's give it a test. Okay, hopefully you can see this well. We're going to go by the grease fitting on the end to see what our lift is. On the roller without the bushings and the bolts to hold the cover plate, we have four inches. On the side that's lifted, we have six inches. We have six inches over here. So on the side that we modified with a bolt underneath the cover plate to keep it from pushing down and a cushion, we gained two inches. And then when you lower it, you still have the same rollability. The roller travels across the green. So I'd say this project is uh, what I'm happy with. It should limit the amount of accidents we have from here and also bending push pull rod around the side. And I've had this whole frame bend on a couple of them because it got hit so hard that it bends back here and it bends here. 